Another day in London and another woke decision by Sad IQ Khan, the mayor of this city. Yes, apparently Sadiq Khan uh, doesn't have anything else to do, like uh, sorting out the crime issue in London, sorting out the housing problem, businesses going down, the healthcare system's not doing well, the local authorities are all over the place, taxes going up. No, no, no. It's best to spend more money, millions and millions of pounds of taxpayers' money, yeah, about six million, well, it's fine, to change the names of the train lines in the capital. Yes, the Labour mayor has decided to, to change the overground uh, lines, uh, the actual names, uh, the names that we have, and he said it's best to get uh, more inclusive and uh, go with diversity. Well, let's have a look at them. All right, here's a list of some of the new names. Uh, Liberty Line, okay, cool. Lionesses, li Lioness Line, Mild May Line, Suffragette Line, Weaver Line, Windrush Line. All right, so for those of you if you're watching from abroad and not familiar with what's been going on in the UK, some of these words, like well, what's going on, Windrush. Well, we're gonna explain the illogical decision. Firstly, let's go to what Sadiq said. Uh, for the first time ever, our six London overground lines are each getting a new name and color. Ooh, everyone loves color. Read more about the inspiration and meaning behind each new name. Now, let's just focus on a couple of them and a few of them uh, to tell you the biggest problem. Okay, forget about the fact that it's just woke nonsense anyway. Let's focus about, focus about on the illogic about this whole decision. The Windrush line, right? It says, recognizing the contribution of the Windrush generation who continue to shape and enrich London's cultural and social identity today. You get the stations, uh, starts from Highbury and Islington, then it goes Clapham Junction, New Cross, uh, Crystal Palace, West Croydon, it goes through Peckham and all the, obviously, the south of London, which is obviously was originally the Windrush generation, and then now they're kids. Now they're kids. Uh, we have a massive gang problem in South London in those exact areas. Yes, they're, they're the product of uh, the Windrush generation, some of them. Not only that, it is just sending a wrong message, a bad message. So certain areas were uh, obviously dominated by certain communities when they first came. Same happening right now. But what we want to do in a normal society is to create harmony and actually distribute people everywhere. That means you, don't, you won't really have to stick to your own area, which will sometimes create ghettos. But these sort of policies are basically promoting ghettos, saying this is where you belong. And we're even going to name something like a street name or a train line to celebrate it. You don't have to ever leave that area. You don't even have to see a white English man. Okay, let's have a look at this one. The Suffragette Line. Celebrating this movement when it's uh, London links, with its London links and uh, that fought for votes for women and paved the way for women's rights. Um, I mean, firstly, there's a big problem that he went with suffragette over suffragists. There's a massive difference. And for those who know the difference, suffragette versus suffragist. One was a little bit more violent and one was actually behind the success of it. And he decided to ignore the good ones and go with the suffragette. Forget about all that. He also said part of this program is just like the Windrush line. Every line, every name is actually going to the direction or destination that it, it belongs to that thing. Um, the home of the suffragette movement was actually in Manchester. And they also had a headquarters in London, but it was in Holborn. Nothing to do with that area. All right, let's have a look at the next one. The Maldway line. And that's about the hospital. So honoring the work of the Maldway uh, MA, um, NHS hospital during obviously the HIV and AIDS crisis that made it a valued and respected place for the LGBTQ+, Z, Y, X, everything community, right? Uh, there's a problem with this line. Yes, it doesn't actually get anywhere near the hospital. It's two kilometers, if we go with kilometers for the sake of the argument, it's two kilometers away from the hospital. And the Lioness line. Oh yes, this is about the England's uh, women's football team. Honoring the legacy and achievements of the England women's football team, which uh, continues to inspire the next generation of women and girls in sports. Uh, goes between uh, Watford Junction and Euston. Um, again, apart from this uh, wishy-washy pandering and uh, basically patronizing women as well, it doesn't get to Wembley Stadium. What? But of course, as social media have decided to hit back with a lot of memes. Some people decided to change the names, uh, saying, well, it will be more appropriate if they change the lane and their names to, for example, Assault and Battery Line. Yep. Motorbike Muggers, <laughs> my, uh, my line. Uh, ULES Stealth Tax Line. Yep. That's the ultra low emission zones, the net zero pet project of Sadiq. 
made line that's about uh, Sadiq Khan's latest advert so, so it's basically an advert if you haven't seen um, if your friend uh, happens to say something sexist or they tries to even like look at a girl the wrong way all you have to do in order to tackle sexism is to tell him mate yeah and then uh, London is open for anti-semites like <laughs> and of course Hamas line you always need a Hamas line uh, next one Oh, this is actually the best. This is just literally the best one. Microaggression line. Well, of course, we need that. It's very important. Inclusive line. Let's just be more honest that this is exactly what you want. Trigger warning. And of course, all the others as well. They're equity over equality. I hope you enjoyed this. Obviously, we had to go with a light-hearted version. Otherwise, I would get angry. Uh, but it's still a very strong message in this. That uh, the mayor of London is an idiot. <laughs>